and he brought them out and said, Sons, what must I do to be saved? I want you to keep note of the words of the jailer. He uses two strong ones. Number one, must. Number two, save. When the word must is used, it simply means the most important and the only requirement. No plan B, no option B, because he's asking them, Sons, what must I? What must I? Is there anything that I must do so that I can go to heaven? Is there anything that I must do so that I can see the kingdom of God? Is there anything that I must do so that I don't go to hell? The word saved. He says, what must I do to be saved? The word saved simply means being delivered from the powers of eternal damnation, never going to hell again. You know, when we are doing our soul winning, sometimes when we ask people what they understand by the word saved, people will give you different definitions. Others will tell you to be saved is to dress well. To be saved is to stop smoking. To be saved is to be a good person. To be saved is to pray every day. But brothers and sisters, even without referring to the scriptures, the word saved comes from the word saved. It's an action. And only a powerful personality, a powerful subject, a powerful power can save you where you are helpless. Say for example, if I was in my house, and my house was on fire, at that point in time, I cannot deliver myself. I am in risk of dying. What will happen unto me? I'll begin screaming, calling for help. And whoever will come and secure me out of that trouble will be called my savior with regards to that situation. This man is asking Paul and Silas, what must I do to be saved? What is the requirement? The must requirement that I'm supposed to do so that I never go to hell. So if you are hearing me right, this is the point. This is a man who is asking a question to Paul and Silas because he does not want to go to hell because of his sins. Number one, in that question, he realizes that he's in danger of going to hell. You know when you begin to ask someone, what must I do to, to be saved? What must I do to go to heaven? It begins from you being informed that, hey, you are in danger. The probability, the chances of you going to hell are high. Any sin that you have ever committed in your life is enough to take you to hell. It's not about a big sin. It's not about a small sin. No. Any sin that you've ever committed in your life and you are still in that condition, you have not come to a point of asking Paul and Silas, what must I do to be saved? You have not come to a point of agreeing to speak to our soul winners, agreeing to speak to Pastor Paul, agreeing to look out for the truth. That sin is just enough to take Mama, mm -hmm. you are talking to Pastor Paul from a Baptist church. I will wish to have a talk with you just shortly, please. I am with my wife here, Emily. Move closer. Hello, Mama. Okay. She's coming. Oh, hello, how are you? Oh, you're not the one we are talking to? Okay, thank you so much. My name's Pastor Paul. We are coming from a Baptist church. You can have a look at this card. So this is Emily, mm. and this is Faith. Okay. okay, we are all coming from that church. The reason why we knocked this door was mm. for a peaceful mission, I would say. We just wanted to know if you are a Christian or not. You are a Christian. Do you go to church? Yeah. Every Sunday or every Saturday? Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Mm. Which church? KG. Kenya Assemblies of God. Okay. Mm. Going to church is very important. So you believe 
Do you believe that all Christians will go to heaven? No. 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 Why? Some are a Christian by name. Oh, some are Christian by name. Mm. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought that everyone who says he or she is a Christian is a Christian in there. Okay. Mm. But are you a Christian by name? No. You are a Christian by what? By, by works. Mm. Okay. So, is it because of your good works that make you a Christian? <laughs> or what? Do you believe so? Yes. Okay, fine. Mm. No problem. So are you a hundred percent for sure that if you are to die to that swears? Are you a hundred percent for sure? Because now you are a Christian who believes in works. Are you a hundred percent for sure that if you are to die today, God forbid, you'll go to heaven? Yes. Hundred yeah. percent. Without doubt. Wow. So by doing what? <laughs> by doing what you have this assurance of going to heaven. I know that you are a Christian by works, but if I was just a layman who does not know what to do to go to heaven. What would you advise me to do so that I go to heaven? What must I do to go to heaven? You do good. You do good things. Mm. Okay. Now allow me to show you something from the scriptures mm. and then we can reason together. Matthew 7 21. The Bible says, mm. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, mm. shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm. But he that doeth, mark this, the will of my Father, mm. which is in heaven. So Jesus is saying, mm. saying, Lord, Lord, will not take anyone to heaven, but the person who does the will of his Father. All right? Mm. Then he says, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, mm. have we not prophesied in thy name? Mm. Is prophesying a good thing or a bad thing? According to you, is a good thing, isn't it? Mm. Then, so they are telling him, mm. Have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name mm. have cast out devils. That means demons, okay? Mm -hmm. And in thy name mm. done many wonderful works. Wonderful works simply means good works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, do that work iniquity. Now, I want you to seriously look at this. They did wonderful works, mm. good works. Mm. They did prophesy. They rebuked demons using the name of Jesus. And Jesus is telling them, I never knew you. And again, he calls them workers of iniquity. They were doing good works. Jesus is calling them workers of iniquity. Mm. Help me understand that. Because how is Jesus calling them workers of iniquity, yet they are doing good works? This is the problem. Mm. They focused on doing good works. They focused on prophesying, doing all these things in the name of the Lord, mm. but never did the will of the Father. Okay? Mm. Now that you told me you are 100% sure when you die, I'll go to heaven. Do you know what the will of the Father is? Because look, mm. here if people are doing good things, Jesus tells them, I don't know you. Where's the problem? They have not done the will of the Father. Mm. Do you know what the will of the Father is? I think now we are reasoning together. Now we are talking about the Bible. Do you know what the will of the Father is? Because mm. if you are doing good things, as mm. you said, because you, you said you are a Christian by works, if you do good so, things by works and Jesus does not know you, mm. it means you have not done the will of the Father. Do you know the will of the Father? No. You don't know. Now let's start from there. If you don't know it, are you still 100% sure when you die you'll go to heaven? <laughs> Let's be sincere here. Mm. If you don't know the way to Nairobi, mm. okay? Mm. Green, yellow, yellow. If you don't know your way to Nairobi, mm. would you still yeah. say you can reach Nairobi 100%? Mm. So if you don't know the will of the Father to go to heaven, are you still insisting that when you die you'll go to heaven? With your works? Do you still believe so? You no. don't, isn't it? No. Okay, let me show you what the will of the Father is. Do you want me to show let you? Let me bring my Bible. Okay, bring it, please.
from Ziff. That can be bad news. Hmm? <laughs> Hello? Can we still wait? Body, can we still wait? Wow, okay. The Bible is not coming. Fine.